Yeah, Casey, what felt right with your game tonight after missing the last 10 games? What, what felt like it was uh, going well for you? Well, I felt um, I was a little bit out of shape. So some of my, some of my touch shots were kind of short. And then in the beginning of the game, I kind of settled for some very difficult shots. I need to, I need to cut, that, cut that out. So I need to really try to go to the basket more. But I need to get back to, to shape and um, rhythm a little bit. I thought I can come in and just, you know, just hoop. But, like, I haven't played in a while, so it's a little tough, a little bit more difficult. So, But I feel like I'll get better fast. But we need it. What did you absorb from watching that you tried to uh, implement on the court tonight and that you will in the future that uh, did you absorb from watching uh, games on the sideline? Well, um, I, I, I watched I watched D. Brad and how he scored the ball. Like, like I, I, need a, I need to take a, a page from his book. Like, he, he uh, makes the game a little more easier. But he doesn't really do all the – he doesn't make his game hard. Them, he scores, he scores easy to him. So, like, I need to take a picture from his book and make the easier play. I try to make plays, but, like, I make the difficult play. And sometimes a difficult play, plus, like, someone my size trying to shot block me, like, it's tough. So I need to make the easier play, make the better read. And that's something that I will get better at as time goes on. And where were your main defensive breakdowns tonight? Well, um, I felt like our transition defense needs to get better because um, we scouted, actually, we scouted them pretty well. They ran the same play majority of the game. I don't know if you guys are watching. The big man caught it, like high post area. Then he dribble weaved to the guard, and they just played off that. So uh, we just need to we just need to walk in 100% transition, like getting back on defense. That's where the game was. I felt like that's where their run started, and that's how the game broke down. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Casey, what do you think is the main thing this team's missing right now? What do you guys need to be more competitive in these games? I think, really, I think it's just our, I don't want to keep using beating the dead horse that keeps saying experience, but like, it shows, like, some of these guys that we're playing against have been in the league multiple, multiple years. Manick, um, the big man on their team, I forget the last name, slips my mind, but you can see that they've played in this year for multiple years, and you can see the experience difference. But like, like I said, I don't want to use that as an excuse. I feel like there isn't no excuse for us losing. There shouldn't be no excuse. Like, we just gotta, we just gotta figure it out, and we're gonna figure it out soon. But there isn't no excuse. Well, how did you pass your time over the past month and a half or however long it's been that you've been out? What did you do every day? Uh, it's been like almost six weeks. It's been like six weeks. So um, most of my time, if I tell you, my days have been like wake up in the morning, go to the training room. It's been like majority of my days there, like five, six hours in the training room. So like I've just been trying to rehab as fast as I can, try to get back to the court as fast as I can, still try to like be a leader in the locker room, leading my guys and just try to pick up stuff while watching the game, seeing what, where, where I can come back and after I can bring something to the table when I come back. So I just been trying to try to stay as much involved with the team as possible. Did it feel good to be back out there again? Yeah, it felt good to be back out there. Um, it did feel good. It just, just, I wanted to come back in there and like really make a difference. You know what I'm talking about? But it felt good to play basketball again. If I look at it in the big scheme of things, it did feel good to play basketball again. But we need a win. That's that's what I came here to do, and that's what we need to do, and that's why I need to help my team improve on is winning. That's what we need to do. All right. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, last question to Grant Flanders. Uh, Casey, do you think you did uh, impact, you know, the defensive side of the ball early on, you know, when you still had, you know, you didn't get tired in the late in the game? Yeah, I felt like that's always been something I've been good at. Like, scoring has come to me, like, little by little over the years. But I felt like like shot blocking, that type of stuff, that's been, that's been what I've been good at since high school. 
So I felt like I brought that at the beginning of the game a little bit. But like like I said, I need to get my conditioning up. I need to practice a lot more. When I get my conditioning and practice a lot more, I can sustain that type of that type of defensive ability for throughout the game. So I just need to get my conditioning back, my practicing back up, and after I'll be able to uh, give more to the team. Uh, and then how much is the team, you know, missing a guy, you know, in a game like this, it still might not be the difference, but missing a guy like Nigel Pack and the offensive ability he has. Uh, I feel like our team is missing him. Like he's a great player, facilitator. As you guys know, he's a great shooter. So our team is really missing him. But like I said, like, like I said before, that is an excuse. Like, he, he steps out, like, there, there's been tons of players that have been dropped out because of COVID, all the different stuff. Like, that's not an excuse. He steps off, and other guys have to step up. So I feel like everyone has to pick up, like, not one specific person step up or replace him, but, like, everyone has to pick up his slack. So that so I feel like I need to pick up his slack. Mike needs to pick up his slack. Dej wants. So we all need to chip together a little more on the court to pick up his slack. So we do miss him, but that's not an excuse for how we play today, and we need to do better, and we, we will. Last one I got for you. Do you think anyone's checked out of the team right now, or do you think everyone's still rallying around each other and, you know, seeing the greater goal of just trying to get better? No, no, I don't feel like anyone's checked out. Like, uh, I don't know, Coach my Coach after me might tell you, like, after the Texas game, like, our practice, our practices were still, like, really intense, really live. Everyone's still competing. So every game we're still competing. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, after this game, the next day we'll – We'll regroup and then gather back, and then the next practice, we're still going to compete. No one's going to check out. And if someone does check out, we'll check them. Like, we're still we're still in this. I don't, like, scoreboard or not, we're still in this. And I, 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 will, I will help our team, and we will do something special.